This video has been produced by the National Rugby League to provide clarity and a better understanding of what is and what is not a hip drop tackle. There are three common elements to all hip drop tackles. One, the defender grabs hold of the ball carrier with one or both hands. Two, they then swing or rotate their body to a position to the side of or behind the ball carrier. Three, they then drop the bulk of their body weight directly onto the legs of the ball carrier. Now let's look at some examples. In each of the following examples you will clearly see the presence of the three critical elements. The grab, the twist, and the body weight falling directly onto the legs, ankles or feet. In this next example, again you can see the grab, the twist, and the drop directly onto the legs. And from a different angle, grab, twist, and drop directly onto the legs. In this one, you can see the awkward position the ball carrier finishes up in with his legs pinned under the body weight of the defender. Grab, twist, drop. This next one comes more from the side rather than behind, but the same three elements are there. Exposing the ball carrier to an unacceptable risk of injury. Although the approach of the offender may differ slightly in each case, by now you can recognize that the most crucial element in differentiating the seriousness of each incident is the level of force applied directly to the ball carrier's legs. So why are some similar looking tackles deemed not to be hip drops? Well, in this first example you can see the common elements of grab, twist and drop. But importantly, on the reverse angle you can see the bulk of the body weight first lines on the ground with only the arms in contact with the legs. In this one, grab, twist and drop. But the body weight lands on the ground not the legs. And in this example, you can see the defender makes a conscious effort to drop to the ground rather than directly onto the legs. In this last example, while once again the three elements of grab, twist and drop are present, the reverse angle shows a significant distance between the legs of the ball carrier and body of the defender as he hits the ground. Hopefully, the examples in this video help clarify what is and what is not a hip drop tackle.